Hi everyone, we're here at the TAD conference in Nashville 2022. Uh, one of the topics that I covered was Demodex and one of the ways that we treat it with uh, Ivermectin Plus. So here's a video uh, that uh, I've been working with Dr. Chili out in Shanghai. Uh, he has the ability to keep Demodex follicularum alive uh, for about 24 hours. Uh, and we can actually see how Demodex uh, kind of live. They basically feed uh, off of the sebum uh, and dead skin cells. Uh, and they're very mobile. Uh, one of the things about Demodex is they come out at night. Uh, they don't come out during the day. They bury themselves in pores and in the follicles. Uh, one thing that we do know is that uh, dry eye disease and skin conditions are, uh, go hand in hand. Rosacea patients have about 20 times the amount of Demodex uh, than a normal patient. And you can see how uh, that could cause uh, inflammation, irritation. The big question is what comes first, meibomian gland dysfunction uh, or Demodex? Uh, and I think what happens is once you get meibomian gland dysfunction, you're not getting your normal tear and uh, you're not getting the normal lysozymes that actually kill bacteria and kill the Demodex. And so they overgrow making the meibomian gland dysfunction worse and it's just a downward spiral. So there are two types of Demodex that you have. You have uh, Demodex that are on the lid margin, that's the follicularum, and then Demodex uh, brevis, which is uh, on the facial skin. Um, they avoid light, so they don't come out uh, uh, during the day. They come out at night. They don't have vision, so how they determine when it's nighttime is they read the amount of melatonin uh, on your skin. When that increases, then they uh, perceive night and then they come out to feed. So that's why they're so difficult uh, to eradicate because they're uh, a mite that is difficult to eradicate anyway with the stuff that we have and they also uh, bury themselves within our pores and in our follicles, so uh, hard to get them out of, their, out of their trenches to kill them. Um, they have about six to eight eggs in each of them. Their lifespan is about um, four weeks, and they give birth uh, every week. Uh, and so you can see with those six to eight eggs uh, that very quickly, if you don't get control of the Demodex, the normal population that you have on your lids and on, on your facial skin, that they can uh, overrun uh, the system and cause such inflammation that they can really uh, decrease the meibomian gland function. We talked about them eating sebum and dead skin. Uh, there are higher bacterial loads in patients that uh, have uh, higher loads of Demodex. Um, and also, uh, in the Demodex, there's a gram-positive uh, bacteria, Bacillus. So, you know, you have uh, the Bacillus using the Demodex and the Demodex using us and um, causing havoc in everything that we, we try to do. So how do we treat them? So there's a couple ways that we treat. One is, one way is to decrease the, the stuff that they feed off of. So if you can decrease the dead skin and decrease the sebum, they have nothing to feed off of and uh, nothing to come out at night to eat. So one way we do that is with a Soothe Wipe, which has hyaluronic complex, where we have patient Go ahead and use the hyaluronic complex on the lid margins and then also hyaluronic complex on the face, uh, moisturizing the skin, uh, leaving them less dead skin cells to eat, and also decreasing the amount of sebum. And another is IPL. Uh, so that does a good job of controlling Demodex, but again, if these Demodex are buried in follicles, there's some patients that even with IPL, we can't overcome uh, the amount of Demodex that they have, so we need something more. 
blue light kills the bacteria. I don't think uh, RQ is able uh, to kill Demodex. So with the, when these three things uh, aren't working for us, uh, then we uh, turn to something else. One thing I want to add is that a lot of people have said tea, treat with tea tree oil. Uh, the problem with tea tree oil is that it actually is cytotoxic to the meibomian gland. So uh, you may be winning a battle, but you're losing a war. There's still no proof that tea tree oil will uh, adequately kill the amount of demodex that are in the follicles buried or in the pores buried. Um, so I don't find it very effective. And I also, since it's cytotoxic to the meibomian glands, I don't use uh, tea tree oil. So what do we use instead? So ivermectin has been shown to be a very effective killer of demodex and gram-positive bacteria. We still have the problem of how do we draw those demodex uh, out of their trenches. And the way we do that is we actually do, um, we put some melatonin in our ivermectin. So we have the patients, we have two um, treatments. We have one for face, which is a higher concentration of the ivermectin, and it has melatonin. And then we have uh, ivermectin for the lids, which is about a little bit lower concentration because we found the higher concentration of ivermectin um, causes irritation to the lids because that's the thinnest skin uh, of our face but it has the melatonin. So we have the patient put that on night, helps them get a little bit of sleep, draws out the Demodex, and is able to kill the Demodex. We have patients use it for 30 days at night. That seems to do the trick, and then they can use it periodically during the week uh, to continue to keep the Demodex low. But usually after 30 days, that really takes care of the problem. So it's our number one way of taking care of Demodex that we can't take care of with IPL, with Soothe Wipes, uh, with Blue Light. This is a case report um, showing uh, how ivermectin can really uh, change the course of somebody with an overrun of uh, Demodex uh, to their skin. This is reported in JAMA a few years ago by Dr. Brown. And many dermatologists are now using uh, ivermectin uh, to treat their rosacea patients with Demodex. Uh, for more information, uh, you can go to teentoyos.com or you can email us at uh, dryeye at toyosclinic.com or you can call our number 646-630-0218. You can set up a telehealth uh, visit and then we can uh, prescribe you uh, the ivermectin with melatonin. Uh, thanks for tuning in.